Welcome back. 24 minutes past the hour. You're listening to the Monocle Daily. The Empire State Building has been the tallest building in New York since September the 11th, standing at 1,250 feet. But today, the One World Trade Center building overtook it as a steel column was lifted into place this morning. The structure is being built to replace the Twin Towers that were destroyed in the 9-11 attacks. Joining us on the line now is Timothy Johnson, Chairman of the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitats. Good evening, Timothy. Good evening. Uh, why has this taken so long, uh, more than 10 years since the Twin Towers were destroyed when they were built in a bit over two years? And, of course, the original Empire State Building was built in 45 days over a year. Yes, well, there's, I think, two real fundamental uh, reasons why it's taken so long. First is that, obviously, the event that happened on the site on 11 was uh, very traumatic and very emotional, and uh, the amount of energy that it took to sort of get everyone uh, involved in the project together uh, with the same vision uh, certainly took a significant amount of time. And I think it was when Daniel Liebskin's uh, uh, master plan was put forth that it sort of uh, created a foundation, if you will, for the, for the master plan of the site. That, that was a big leap. And then there were just a lot of emotions to sort out and, and things as, as well as insurance policies and, and the like. So that, that was definitely... But I think the other, it's a very complex site. It's right in the middle of New York City. Um, it's surrounded by uh, existing infrastructure. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of uh, rail and, and, and subway connections that are below at the PATH train to New Jersey and the subway lines that go through the site. But it's a very difficult site to build. And uh, uh, so maybe it's a little longer than it should have, but I think it's a reasonable amount of time to build uh, under the circumstances. Timothy, with your expertise on tall build- buildings and urban habitats, what has been the effect of 9-11 on construction and architecture when it comes to tall buildings? Well, I think, you know, after the event, uh, everyone thought, well, that's the end of tall buildings. But in fact, uh, uh, it really isn't. Uh, in, in fact, there's more tall buildings being constructed in the world today uh, than there ever has been. And, and there's a lot more uh, planning underway and if you look at uh, the fact that the population of the world is going to grow by another billion people in the next 14 years, uh, a high-rise construction in tall buildings is a, is a huge part of uh, a sustainable strategy that uh, hopefully will keep the world safe and sound for many years to come. Um, I think one great thing about uh, the fact that uh, we now have, again, an, uh, on that particular site, on the World Trade Center site, the tallest building in New York, is a great uh, victory uh, in a way to uh, tall buildings and showing that, uh, yes, you can maybe knock them down, but, but we can put them back up as well. So that's, uh, I think, a really good message that's, uh, that's going out to the world today. I mean, more than a decade later, how important do you think that symbolic uh, impact of this building still is? And you talked quite correctly about the, the incredible trauma uh, of the destruction of the Twin Towers in the first place. But more than 10 years on, are people still sort of hankering for it to be topped out at that symbolic 1,776 feet? Or have people yeah, sort is. of got I, over you know, it a that bit? That number is obviously uh, uh, the number of, uh, of independence uh, yeah. of the United States. And uh, I think the symbolism of that uh, in the master, in the original master plan is, is fundamental. And I think, you know, there's a, a number of moments that we're going to be recognizing with, with this project over the, over the next year. The, the fact that it's now the tallest building uh, in the United St- or in the uh, in New York City is is one. The next step will be uh, surpassing the height of uh, of the original uh, World Trade. Uh, uh, second, you know, being the tallest building in North America, and then obviously settling in as one of the the world's tallest buildings. Uh, so there's a number of things that are coming up that I think the building will be recognized for. And again, this is a, a site that's uh, completely surrounded by. Uh, the world's attention because of the event that happened. And I think it's uh, fantastic that the tall building is, is the focal point of this. In terms of its design, how much of a reference does it make to the original building? I mean, would you automatically be reminded of it as soon as you walked into it, or has it decided to be fresh and new? No, I think it's fresh and new. I mean, there's, there's a couple of things that are very subtle that actually are, are going to be quite powerful, I think, when people, um, the tower itself, when people realise it you know, it's a building that in some ways is, is two squares that are, are rotating uh, as, it, as it moves vertically. And if you think about it, uh, and I've seen images, um, and, and the architect David Childs talk about it, is the 
this a kind of remembrance back to the Twin Towers, these two square footprints, but it's kind of married into one tower. And I think it's a very clever uh, gesture that, that is uh, maybe not instantaneously seen by the, by the public eye, but I think once it gets uh, publicized, and I think people will, you know, the, certainly the architectural and engineering community uh, is, is aware of that move. I think the other is that when you're on the site, in fact, I just walked around the site about an hour and a half ago, uh, it's just uh, it's just up from my office. Uh, I look down over the site from my office, and you know the other part that's there as a remembrance is the memorial and the two foundations, the two footprints of the existing buildings uh, or the, the prior buildings, are uh, are are, are uh, maintained within the memorial. And I've been in that plaza space and in 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 that memorial, and you it's such an incredibly powerful urban space, and then. You have the new building, the fresh building of the um, of the 21st century that's that's rising, th- you know, above all of that. So it's it's a very powerful urban space, uh, just in terms of how it's physically manifest. But I think also with with the emotion that's tied to it and the history that's tied to it, I I think it will be a place that people from all over the world will come to for many many years. Uh, Timothy Johnson, Chairman of the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitats, thank you very much.